Hello, I'm Diana Keough, Editor-in-Chief of Sherwick.com. Today we're talking to Dr. Lee Ponsky, who is the Director of the Urology Institute Division of Oncology at University Hospitals of Cleveland. Dr. Ponsky has agreed to take questions from our members that have come in over the internet about the CyberKnife treatment, which is a new therapy for prostate cancer. Dr. Ponsky, I'm going to ask the first question. I'd like you to just define what CyberKnife treatment is. The CyberKnife is a newer technology that allows us to treat prostate cancer non-invasively. It's certainly very exciting and we're very glad to be able to offer this at University Hospital's Case Medical Center as one of the initial institutions looking at this technology. This allows us to deliver highly focused radiation directly at the prostate and actually tracks the movement as the prostate moves. So it really allows very, very precise treatment of the prostate while minimizing the injury or the side effects from the surrounding organs. We're very excited about this technology and it does not involve other chemotherapy or other treatments. It is standalone. Dr. Ponsky, who's the best candidate for the CyberKnife procedure? So for patients who are interested in being evaluated for the treatment of their prostate cancer with the CyberKnife, we are right now treating patients who are considered low risk or intermediate risk disease. So patients who have a PSA of less than 10, who have a Gleason score of 3 plus 4 or less, and generally considered to be low to intermediate risk disease. There are a few other criteria that we could evaluate you to make sure that this treatment is right for you because we want to make sure we individualize the care. CyberKnife is a great treatment if you're a correct candidate, but we would be happy to work with you to make sure that it's the right treatment for you. So, Dr. Ponsky, how long does the CyberKnife treatment take? If you look at some of the different treatments for prostate cancer, standard external beam radiation can be pretty time intensive. It could be five days a week for anywhere between six to nine weeks, and that could be up to 45 treatments for your radiation. With the CyberKnife, we're able to treat patients in five treatments total, and that's certainly very exciting. It's very appealing to patients to know that you can be treated and done with your treatments in five individual treatments. Each treatment takes about an hour each day, so in five hours total, you can really be done with your prostate cancer treatment. Dr. Ponsky, what side effects are associated with the CyberKnife procedure? So anytime we treat prostate cancer, there are the potential for side effects and no, no treatment has been able to totally remove that possibility of having side effects. One of the things we're excited about with the CyberKnife is our ability to try to minimize the risk of having side effects. What we have found over the last several years is that our patients are having about two to three weeks of either no side effects at all, very mild urinary or rectal side effects, or sometimes a bit bothersome rectal or urinary side effects. Usually by three to four weeks, most of those side effects have gone away. Now there's always the possibility of having side effects such as urinary uh, incontinence or erectile dysfunction. We have found this so far to be very minimal in our patients and this is why we're very excited about this technology because our patients have really done exceptionally well in terms of minimal side effects. Dr. Ponsky, I just want to thank you for joining us today on Sherwick.com. This has been really helpful information. If you'd like more on the topic of the cyber knife and prostate cancer, please go to our website at www.sharewick.com.